As I've mentioned previously, you can easily rotate your model view by holding the left and right mouse buttons down together and moving your mouse around. Your model will then rotate. You can also change your view by using a couple of tools in the workspace environment. The first is the View Orientations tool, which you can access from the Orient View toolbar. So when I click the View Orientations tool, the Orientations dialog appears, and you can see a number of default views that are already listed. So as I double click each view in the box, the work area view changes to match that view. So you can use the View Orientations tool to change very quickly to one of the standard views or to an isometric or diametric view. You can also add custom views to the orientations box as well. To do this, you need to manipulate your view to get the custom view that you want to add. Once I have my new view set up, I can click the Add button in the Orientations dialog. Next, I provide a name for my view, preferably something that will remind me what the view actually represents. And then now I click OK. Once I've added the custom view, I can always get back there easily via the Orientations dialog. Now I'll zoom in on the model and then create another custom view. I can double click on the custom view and my view then changes back to the view I set before. Note the previous and next buttons are also located here. So you can quickly toggle between previous and next views easily. Now click close when you're finished using the orientations tool. Another tool you can use to manipulate your view in a more controlled fashion is a tool called Orient to Plane, which is available from the View pull-down menu. You can also access the Orient to Plane tool from here. So clicking that tool opens the Orient to Plane dialog. And this allows me to select the plane or a face as the reference. In this case, I'm going to select the YZ plane, and then I can click the bottom reference geometry field to activate it, and select the plane to be oriented towards on the bottom. So when I select this, the plane I select will be oriented in the bottom direction. I can also click the Zoom to Fit checkbox to make sure that we can see the entire model in the window if I want, and then click OK. So the first plane I selected is now normal to my view, and the second plane is now facing downwards. You can also change the point on which your view rotates about. You can do this by selecting the Rotation Point tool from the Orient View toolbar, and the Rotation Points dialog opens. Note that the default rotation point is the center of volume. To change it, I need to select another option, and then click Set. After I do this, as I rotate the model, I can now see it rotate about the origin point as opposed to the center of volume. You can also add a custom rotation point if you want. The first thing you need to do is to select an item on the model, whether it be an edge or a point, and in this case I'm going to select an edge. Then I need to click the Add button, and I can give the new rotation point a name. Then click OK in the box after entering the name. And now simply click the Set button to set the new rotation point. Now as I rotate the model, the model is only rotating about the particular edge that I specified in my custom rotation point. So in summary, there are tools that you can use to provide discrete control over changing view orientations, as well as changing the point of rotation in your view. In the next segment, I'll discuss working with features and sketching in the Design Explorer.